Right, so how are we going to test these cords today? Um, I think the main weakness points are going to be the seams, uh, all the zips and the pockets, as well as the hood and any opening around the neck. Um, and I'm here now with Steve, who's our hydro engineer for the day. Hi there. Uh, as you can see, he's wearing a, a white lab coat for the occasion. We're taking this very seriously indeed. Um, Steve, what's all this equipment? Well, what we've got here today to test, we've got um, a high pressure jet washer, which will be really good for getting in all the seams of the jackets to making sure it's all been put together well and the pockets and all that. So that's going to have 60 seconds of me blasting over that. We've also got the um, just the standard bucket and that's the full drenched test so that'll be a great big uh, slosh of water onto Ian. Um, so let's waste no time and uh, well. <laughs> First jacket up today is this one, it's the One Earth Jacket by Peter Storm. Uh, it's made from uh, recycled materials, which is very good, good for the environment, but uh, the main question today is whether or not it's going to keep me dry. Um, I've also got this snorkel mask just to protect my eyes when Steve gets busy with the uh, jet washer. I have my hood up obviously, but um, nothing to protect my eyes, so without further ado, it up. Let's get started. Okay, let's see how we've done. Ah. Now, that's where the zip was. Obviously, Steve was going at it quite strongly, I and mean, it obviously has penetrated the uh, the seam and the Velcro straps. Shoulders look pretty good actually. And I had my hand in a pocket here with water running in. Um, that was fine. Um, lifted my arm up. Oh dear. I hope that's not sweat, but if you can see there, it's a little little bit damp. I think Steve went under there. Um, how's my back? How's my back looking? That's all fine. Not all fine. So yeah. the main damage really is round down the front. Next one. Okay, test number two. This is this colourful birdhouse number. I'm just going to do the same as you can see. I've got a brand new T-shirt on. I'm just going to zip myself up. Nothing covering the zip on this one. It'll be interesting to see how that one turns out. Uh, hood is up. Take it away, Steve. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Much less water than the last coat. All down the front, shoulders, draw a little bit of seepage around the core bone. Back. That looks fine, that looks dry. I think the Berghaus has run into an early lead, what do you reckon? Right, no messing around, on to jacket number three, this one's from Keela. Again, another grey t-shirt underneath. Just going to zip myself in. I feel quite secure in this one, but I'm not sure if we're completely dry. There again, you can see along that middle strip where the, the main zip is. A little bit wet. Shoulders are good again. Pocket was pretty dry. And the back, that's all fine. All dry again, so in. not too bad at all. Okay, we're going to finish up with this jacket by Sprayway. Uh, it's the, the one I had on earlier, but it's dried out really nicely now. Um, Gore-Tex on the inside. Zip up the front, which is covered by a couple of layers and then some Velcro. 
make sure they're all nicely tucked in. My shorts, by the way, are absolutely soaking. And if they get much wetter, they're just going to fall down. The hood is up. Okay, let's see how this one's done. I feel a little bit damp, to tell you the truth. And through, yeah. Bit of seepage down front. And also, on the sides where I have my hand in this pocket, and it's just mesh. There's nothing to stop any water from getting into the pocket, from getting into the clothes underneath. So that's why I'm all wet there with this one. Didn't get that problem with any of the others, I've got to say. Um, but I think that ought to do us for today. We've got a couple more tests still to run, but I'm just gonna go and get myself dry now.